Hello friends, it's Kathy Clement with Kathy by Design and welcome to Make and Take Tuesday. This is a little series that I do on my YouTube channel where I introduce a new collection or tool or product and we make something fresh and fun with it. Today we are working with Cartabella's Welcome Fall collection. I just picked this up. I'm a sucker for fall papers especially when they are as beautiful as this. I don't know what it is about fall, guys, but it just makes me happy. Look at all these great plaids and checks, wonderful leaves, another beautiful plaid. This is the six by six, but I also have it in the 12 by 12. And I have a thought in mind of what I would like to make with it today. I'll show you the 12 by 12. I've got the enamel dots, I've got the ephemera, which has all these great little frames and tags and things. I've got the chipboard accents, and then here are the 12 by 12s. Mums, one of my favorites, a great green plaid, this wonderful pumpkin and leaf and acorn print, another great check, this wonderful little um, micro print, these cute fall signs, the big leaves and acorns. I just love this page. Another great check. This amazing plaid. Four by six images. Another wonderful plaid. This has the stripe of teal in it, which I love. The leaves. Another check. Three by four images. So sweet. This stunning floral. I love this floral. And there's some great fussy cut possibilities in here too. Oh, and then look at this cute uh, little like mini floral, like rolled roses and leaves and stuff. A good cut apart with all kinds of different sizes. This beautiful red, These the foliage page. Another wonderful diagonal check. A mixed page of cut aparts, another wonderful foliage with apples, and then this great sticker sheet. So that's the paper we're going to be working with. I also have a die that we're going to be working with today. This is Spellbinders. This came out on the 8th. This is their holiday stitching stitched diamonds die. And as you can see, it's quite intricate. It's got a lot of parts. I die cut mine out of an orangey uh, metallic paper. And then I used my craft knife to cut these middle sections out of it. I don't wanna use that. I want my paper to come through here. So I, what I love is the etching and I'm not even going to stitch because I just think the etching is so beautiful and I like the perforations. I just am treating it like a design element. So let me get my stuff together and get organized and I'll come back and I'll show you what we're making today. So now I wanna go ahead and do our little, what I decided to do was turn this into a shaker element. It's just perfect because of the aperture in the center. So I adhered a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of clear card stock on the back and then added three rows of eight inch foam tape. In I, then I cut a four and a quarter by five and a half of the plaid, took this Hello Fall from the ephemera pack, and then I took the little pieces out of the chipboard. There's all these little itty tinies, and they are wonderful in a shaker element. So I put those in along with some buttons and some beads and some sequins, and we are all set here to make a shaker element. So just push all your shaker elements into the center here. And then remove the liner from your shaker frame that you made. All right, so line this up. And press it down. Look how cute. That is really cute. I like that a lot. The beads and the buttons give it a really good sound. So there is that. Don't worry about these corners. I have that all planned. 
I went into my stash of Rene Bouquets and I picked out this pretty pumpkin. But before we add it, I wanna go ahead and add the background layers. So I want to make a five and a quarter by seven and a quarter top fold card. And what I did was I cut two panels, five and a quarter inch wide of this sort of burgundy apple red color. One of them I cut to seven and a quarter, the other I cut to seven and three quarters, and then I scored. So we're going to take, I just wanted to show you how to create this. Some of you have seen me do this before, you can move on, but it's good to get little refresher courses too. So make sure everything is lined up. And then I just fold this over the top and burnish it down. And here is our card, our top fold card. And on the inside, you cannot even tell that it was joined. It's really cool. And on the back, you just have this little band. Everything is even and straight. That's just a really easy way to make a larger top fold card than what you have than the size your cardstock allows. So I've got a five and an eighth by seven and an eighth of the floral. And then from the six by six, I cut a five and an eight by three of the orange check. I wanted to go with a smaller scale pattern to kind of balance out the um, design. I felt like the larger check was just kind of overwhelming, but the smaller one worked really well. So, we're gonna lay this down in the center. All right, I just need to trim a tiny bit. Perfect. Now I'm going to come in with my shaker. And I want this to go so that it's sort of centered. Top and sides. I just want to make sure I'm straight here is what I'm checking. So put that down. Then I'm gonna come in with my pumpkin. And I put a triple layer of foam on the back of the pumpkin. And I wanna put it sort of low down here. And then I can come behind it, add some hot glue. All right, let's okay. embellish, finish embellishing this card. As you can see, I've added these little enamel dots in the corners to cover up the stitching holes. I just think as beautifully as this etched, I just don't wanna cover that up, I love it. So over here, I went into the ephemera and I found this sweet little image with the flowers. And I'm gonna just put some hot glue behind it here. And I've tucked it back behind my pumpkin. I tied a little bow that I'm gonna put right here. And then if we take a little enamel dot, even though these have adhesive on the back, I always like to add just a little bit of hot glue to make sure they stay in place. So our pumpkin. I went into my stash and I found some old Prima leaves. These might be from, goodness, these might be as long ago as um, Autumn Sunset. So I'm gonna kind of stack these, the yellow on top of the brown. And I'm gonna slip these in. And then I tied a little burlap bow. Just kind of anchor this. Tuck that underneath with the point of my scissors. Okay. A 
up here on the top. I've got a couple more of these leaves. I tied a couple of little acorn charms together. And then another little burlap bow to go on top of that. And I'll trim those tails when the glue has set. And then I went into my ribbon. Ribbon was hard to choose. Um, I tried a bunch of different colors and I finally settled on this Ivory and Rust, which is an older ribbon from Really Reasonable Ribbon. I don't even know that it's in the shop anymore. But I liked the way it uh, picked up on the deep red tones in the floral paper. So I'm going to put this right here. Then a couple of leaves. Oops. Like this. Well, actually, I'm going to do the burlap string first. Sorry about that. Burlap string bow, then the leaves. There we go. That's better. And then this is a Rene Bouquet's. This color is called Fawn, and it's really beautiful for fall. And I curled the wire stem. And this is going to go right here. Oops. Lots of glue webs. All right, I think that's pretty good. I don't think there's anything else I want to do. I'll, I'll trim this up as soon as that uh, glue has set. Now I'm going to put the inside of my card together, but I just love the way this turned out. This is a really sweet collection, y'all. I'm pretty happy with it. All right, here we are all finished up. I've added it to the front of the card, trimmed the twine on our little acorns here. They turned out really, really cute. And then on the inside, I just finished it up with some of the six by six papers. And where I trimmed off, I used the header up here, made a pocket, took some scraps, made this sweet little photo folio so you can write a note and add a family picture here. And then here's a little bookmark. Just some fun little tuck-ins um, for this wonderful collection. I really enjoyed working with this. It's a The colors are just beautiful, and the images are fun, and I really like it paired up with this new Spellbinders die. Even though this is supposed to be a Christmas die, it works great for fall, so you can see that it's versatile. All right, guys, that's it for me, Kathy Clement with Kathy by Design. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you for Throwback Thursday. Go get your craft on. Bye.